Hi, everyone. I'm Diane Brady, Assistant Managing Editor here at Forbes, and I am with Haley Sachs, Mrs. Dow Jones. Haley, welcome. Tell me about how you became Mrs. Dow Jones. I became Mrs. Dow Jones because I wanted to learn about money and was bored by the overly serious lessons available to me. And I knew I loved celebrities and I knew that I loved memes. And so I started to teach myself and then create content from there. And it took off, you know, sort of ripped up the playbook. I love your comparison of, um, I think it was ETFs and mutual funds. I think Meghan Markle was the ETF and, uh, and Kate, Princess Kate was our mutual fund, correct? Sure is. So tell me about your association with Morgan Stanley. What's, what are you doing with them? Oh, I'm so excited. So I um, am working with them to help launch this really exciting initiative that they have with Rebecca Minkoff around the new banker bag. Um, and basically, you know, Wall Street is changing and there's so many more women in the room than ever before, but there's still these traditionally masculine elements that need to be rethought. And one of those is the banking bag. And so together we are getting it together. We are launching this awesome product that I think is really going to change the way that women look at workwear. So the, the existing banker bag, for those who don't know, is this sort of duffel bag that's got your very prestigious brand across, you know, so you're on the subway, people can say, I'm at Morgan Stanley. Um, but is it too much of a bro bag? I mean, I know you're not a fashion, uh, you know, influencer, although you could be, I'm sure. But what is it about the, uh, what is it about that bag that you think is an issue why why fix it well i mean as wall street has evolved over the years you know over a quarter of c-suite roles now are occupied by women it that is an industry standard the you know banker bag that really hasn't changed and it is a hallmark of financial services you know like when you start your job on wall street that is like a token piece of luggage this you know functional carry-all that as you said is embroidered with the name of the institution and you wear it proudly um and it's a sort of this marker of belonging to the trade and being inside of this community it's a source of pride um but it really is not inclusive because uh, you know, Morgan Stanley did all this research where they were asking women in finance, hey, do you wear this bag? Do you own this bag? And less than 3% of women said that they did. Um, and I think over 50% said that it just didn't really appeal to them. So it was clear that it needed to change. Um, and they stepped in with Rebecca Minkoff to do so. So if, if I step back a little bit, 30,000 foot, um, and because a lot of what you're doing is making the information of Wall Street accessible to people. And there is this mystique around banks like Morgan Stanley. I'd just love to get your thoughts as to the average person. Um, you know, being a banker is still something very aspirational, I think. But what do, what type of reaction do you get? Because I think you're make, you add humor to what you do. You're making it accessible. Um, what in your mind, what do these brands represent to you? Let's say just Morgan Stanley and its and its ilk. You know, what made you intrigued to work with them in the first place? What really intrigued me about working with Morgan Stanley um, is because I think that they are at the forefront of this new generation of investors and this new generation of people on Wall Street, if you're putting money into the market, if you're working there, you know, they want to create a culture where everyone feels like they belong. And that is the Mrs. Dow Jones message as well. Inclusivity um, and, you know, channeling our efforts together to create change and to, you know, within the walls of a firm, but and also beyond financial literacy, you know, to the to the normal person who it doesn't even work on Wall Street, which is my mission.
anything you'd want to say? I know you don't dispense financial advice per se, but um, what's your message of your, you know, you're in social media in a number of capacities. What's the message that you want to convey to people just about Wall Street and the world of finance? Because when we read about it, if at all, people just tend to read the headlines. The biggest thing that I will say is that you belong. You know, there is this feeling always of being a fish out of water um, and that it's not inclusive and that growing wealth is not for everyone. But I'm here to take the pressure off and to show you that it's actually very accessible um, and often easy to take control of your finances and take control of your future. Great. Good message, Haley. Thanks very much. And uh, would you have the bag yourself? Yes, I have been wearing it everywhere. It is very cute. Um, okay. We need to send you one. No, I will watch it on you, but-, but you know, it really is like a status that the industry is evolving. Um, and I just think it's an incredible initiative. Uh, and yeah, it has a limited run on RebeccaMinkoff.com. So you have to run, not walk because this bag is going to sell out. Like it is really cute. Right. It has like funky hardware and it fits everything. I really love it. Excellent. Well, thank you very much and um, look forward to continuing the conversation. Yes, I can't wait. Thanks so much for having me on. Thanks.